so happy to be with you tonight. Then again, these days, I'm happy to be anywhere. <laughs> I want to thank Bosney for selecting me to receive this award and the New York chapter for nominating me, despite my initial resistance to it. Before I begin, I want to welcome two first-time convention attendees from the New York chapter. One is my wonderful husband, Ryan Candy, who's been making me laugh every day. <laughs> my shoulders are crying on, and the man who has taken me on so many adventures keeps me sane no matter how chaotic our lives have become. He recently said, he fights for me so I can keep fighting for the world. Thank you, Ryan. And thank you to Laura Russell for over 20 years of mentoring and friendship. She taught me about 90% of what I know about family law and welcomed me into her close-knit circle of friends. She's also my ride here and back home. So <laughs> when I was told I was being nominated, I struggled to find a meaning. Everything I do has to have a meaning. For those with long careers ahead of them, awards signify the potential for future achievements. For those with a long, illustrious career behind them, awards may be an opportunity for others to learn from them and aspire to do similarly great things. So where do I fit in? I could rattle off a comprehensive list of the things that I've done with the Bosnia in my local chapter, but I won't stand for that kind of thing. Literally, I cannot stand up here that long. <laughs> so I'll keep this brief for me and talk about the essence of this award and why it's become so important to me the more I've learned about it. I decided to learn more about the person for whom it's named. I knew the history of other people to whom the whole Bosnia Awards were named, but who was Marilyn R. Menji? The first thing I found was an obituary in the New York Times from 1988. And the first thing it said was that she had passed away at only 31 years old from ovarian cancer. As some of you know, I've been receiving treatment for ovarian cancer since February 2019. So I thought, ah, oh, that's why I was picked. But I received texts and calls from my Bosnian sisters, including former recipients of this award, Susan Pollitt and Faith Harris, assuring me that it was just a very striking coincidence. So it was important to me to learn not just how someone died, but how they lived. So I did some research. I love research. I want to take this time to talk about what Marilyn Menji did for Bosnia. Picture it, with Bosnia in the 1980s. Yes, I'm a Golden Girls fan. <laughs> and upstart new statewide bar association working hard to establish its place, its prestige, and to fill, fulfill its purpose. Marilyn Menji, a young lawyer, was a key liaison between the Bosnia Legislative Committee and the New York State Legislature, helping to establish the Bosnia as a force and promoting legislation important to our mission, a legacy that continues today. She was a founding member of the Capital District Chapter, and during her term as the Bosnia Secretary, she was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. Despite receiving frequent chemotherapy treatments, she never missed completing a set of minutes. That really resonated with me. She eventually became Vice President of the Bosnia. She was obviously respected and adored enough that an award was established in her name in the year that she died, and its first recipient was the inimitable Marjorie Perot. In addition to Susan and Faye, this award has also been given to Beth Bryson, the Honorable Deborah Kaplan, and so many others I admire, many of whom are in this room. What an honor to be in the same company as all these amazing women. Working in service to others and to the causes I hold dear is like breathing to me. Living without contributing is unthinkable. Well, Bosni and the NYWBA have given me so much air to help me breathe all these years. Ryan often says that I'm the most alive, the most animated, and the most like my true self when I'm talking about my work. Whether it's my day job or my women's bar work, even when I'm complaining about something I'd like to improve or how little time I have to get it all done. Very observant guy, my husband. <laughs> Just as Ruth Bader Ginsburg once said that she'd like to be remembered as someone who used whatever talent she had to do her work to the very best of her ability and to help repair tears in her society, to make things a little better through the use of whatever ability she has, to do something outside of myself. This quote captures the spirit in which the Bosnia gives this award, and it has been an honor and a privilege to do something outside of myself and try to make things a little better for women together with all of you. So I'm accepting this award for Marilyn and for everyone here who makes a difference with all you do for Bosnia. Thank you.